she will play it. Because she's a crazy gamer. 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 Hopefully this song is shorter for you guys. Because she thinks the last one was too long. But she still is a crazy cat lady. You gamer. Hopefully this is the last one because like before, I don't like singing these songs. Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use for educational and entertainment purposes. Hello, I'm the Stouter Critic, and I, and I, never think so you don't have to. <laughs> Or, I'm a big fat dork who thinks he knows everything and stuff like that and thinks it's okay to do stuff wrong to people. But uh, this is a top 10 list about Nostalgia Critic and all of his reviews. I won't mention any of the, any of the um, chain to channel stuff because you guys are probably sick to death hearing that stuff. But I want to say thank you to Venom. Um, Cinemac Venom, hope I'm saying your name right, for him helping me see the light, because I did not understand that situation until I watched his video, but, and I want him to actually watch a video where I have him do a, a video, if he does see this one, about one that's actually praising his stuff instead of insulting his stuff, so instead, because the step, um, dog was one of my favorite, was one of my favorite YouTubers until, until this, until this whole thing happened. He was one of them. And he's no longer. He, I, he, I, I've described him from a long time. Like, um, but I still watched him. Because I still didn't understand fully uh, understand the whole entire situation. But we're, we're past that. So we're not going to talk about that. We're gonna just going to talk about 10 things I hated how he does his reviews. And we're just going to keep on that. Then I'll tell you my new 10 favorite YouTubers. Okay? And guess what? Doug won't be on it. So, number. And I won't download any of my video, any of his videos like I do for my trailers and stuff like that. I won't do that for his because he does not deserve it. He's lost it. Okay, so I will won't I probably if hopefully you guys will want to know what I'm talking about when uh, I'll just give you guys examples of it, okay? So, number 10 that he doesn't think before he does his jokes. He just does them and says, okay, I think it's funny, so will everybody else. No matter if they're a girl, um, a boy, or a kid, or whatever, okay? No matter what. He just says, I'm not, I think it's funny. Don't think it's funny. He doesn't think about it. He does not th he think it's okay to wave his jugs right in front of us when he went during the Sailor Moon, during the Sailor Moon movie. In, in the Sailor Moon um, review, that it's okay to do that and say, I, it's okay to wave your jugs to the screen, okay? I can't believe I ever thought that was okay. I'm so happy. Um, I can't believe that. I can't. Okay? And the fact that he said it was okay for him to be attracted to a girl who's 14 just because he didn't know, and the fact that he kept and, and all the other things he has said, that the, all those jokes, he doesn't think. He doesn't think. He just says, it's okay. So, number number nine. His ego. He has such a big ego now. Such a big ego. Thinking that he is always right because how high he is in the channels. I know I don't have many subscribers to him. I probably never will. But I do. I'm not going to let my ego get ahead of me. I'm going to say, thank you guys. Thanks. And if I made a mistake to a bunch of people, I made a mistake, I would say, sorry. I'm sorry. He just has such a big ego now in his videos now. He just does. So I'm kind of happy I stopped watching him. So, number eight. I never liked the bum. The bum voice was annoying. I couldn't... I, change! 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 Making fun of people who are like that is not funny. I don't find it. 
change, change, change. I couldn't ever watch that character. Like, like oh, will he just kill that dumb character? But nope, he never will. Nope. But I wouldn't watch it right now because that dumb character still would be on it. And I have to listen to that dumb, degrading voice. Okay? So, number seven. He broke his prom He's broken a lot of promises in his reviews. He said he would never review movies that are in theaters. He does! His first movie he reviewed in theaters was Jurassic World. So, he broke his promise to that one. So... And he's done a lot of movies in theaters late after that. So, and even when he's doing his reviews with him and his brother, he still he still he's not he, he still goes back to being the um the nostalgia critic. So that's another thing I don't like. He's no longer funny. Okay, I can't, he was no longer being funny. There was times where I was able to watch his reviews and not laugh once. Not. And so, no longer funny. And so that's my number. That's my number six. Number five. His art style sucks. Like I have an excuse. I'm the only person that does my art style. Now this stuff. I'm on my own 100% still. While and he has a bunch of crew that can do everything for him and stuff like that. And his art style still sucks. Okay, his CGI sucks. He has like two weeks to do his stuff, and his art style still sucks. Okay? Alright? So, what the heck? I see people who do the art style in like about two hours, and it looks great. Like Tennille. Hers looks great, and she knows how to do it. So, so, yeah. His art is 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 all this stuff sucks now. It even sucks when I watched it. Like the stupid um Alvin the Alvin and Chickmunks one where he had when he's like doing the dance with um you know their, all those girls. That's that our style sucks. And I've been in front of a green screen. I can make my probably make green screen look good. Okay? We're not more I mean mine mine's on the wall right here, but and I'm still, um, I get, I get, I'm get my, making my legs soon, so my camera stand. Hopefully, I get my camera next month. If I don't, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so that's mine. So now we're on number four. He thinks that only the '80s stuff rules. Basically, he does not give any, and all of his reviews are always negatives. So we're going to put that as another one. He doesn't think ever doing a positive review. I mean, I've done a whole bunch of positive reviews. So he also thinks that only his generation rolls. Like, he says, Pokemon sucks. Digimon sucks. Oh, like, da, 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 da. And he doesn't give any of, he doesn't really give those, any, the generation of the 90s a chance, really. I mean, I've given a lot of generations a chance. I gave them the 70s, the 60s, and I was not even alive during those things. I would love to be around the 60s because I would love to be known a lot, to care a lot of the people I look up to, and get to know them. Like I would love to meet Walt Disney. I would love to meet Jim Henson and stuff like that. But all of those guys died. Disney died before I was even thought of. Um, Jim Henson died. When I was one, so I would love to be alive back then, and, and I love a lot of movies from the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 60s, the 50s, and so on and so forth. No matter what generation that that movie came from, I would love it. Okay, as long as it's a good movie. Don't go around and say okay. And he's lot. And so number three. He has lost sight of other people's opinions. He thinks it's perfectly okay for him to say, This movie sucks! This movie sucks! This sucks, 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 sucks! Like, come on! You're allowed to like whatever movie you want. If you want to go and like, um, let me think of a movie I, I despise with all my heart. If you guys want to like Molestivant, go ahead. 
like it. I won't like it. If you guys want to watch Charlie in the Taco Factory and with, with um, Johnny Depp, you guys can like it. You guys are allowed to like wherever you want. Whatever you want. You're allowed to. It's your opinion. Go and like it. I don't care. Just don't get me to like it. You guys are allowed to. You guys are allowed to like wherever you want. I will never make you guys not like something. Okay. So number two, you guys probably got this from my um num when I said by his jokes about um not thinking about his jokes, but I think he's pretty much sexist against us because in that same exact one he pretty much said um he says we us girls are not allowed to like. Things that were meant for guys, like Star Wars. Like, I love Star Wars. Even before Rey came along, I loved it. Back when we, when we thought there was only one girl in, in the entire galaxy, Leia. I loved Star Wars. Loved it. I mean, I used to like Transformers, but not for, not much really. I haven't watched Transformers since. The I'm, last Transformers movie was the third one I watched, so... Um... I mean, like, you guys, you guys know how much stuff I like that were meant boys and stuff like that, so. I'm allowed to have my, we're, we're allowed, he, and the same thing with him waving his jugs. A lot of his jokes are not, a lot of his jokes are, I mean, I try my best to be, try to be both kid-friendly and adult-friendly. Not this one. So. Hey, Sully. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sully. <laughs> and number one, the biggest one, he doesn't do his research. He does never, as far as I know, he's never done his research. So, like, I know a lot of things about Disney's, and so when he, like, a lot of things that he got wrong in his Disney, um, the, the, the Disney December thing, I was yelling at the screen, and he doesn't do his research for animals or pants, so... He doesn't just do it. He just says something like, and he just says it. He doesn't look it up and say, oh, I was wrong. And he stopped mentioning he was wrong. Even though I hated that character too. But this is the same exact voice for his vum. But he stopped mentioning that he was wrong. He should have like, done a part four for his, for his um, fuck ups. But he should have. So. Now that you guys know my top 10 list of the things I hate about him. So, my top 10 um, new, um, um, YouTubers are now. Number 10 is... Okay, let's write down my, my top 10 favorite um, um, YouTubers. And he's not on it. So put it right here. So let's get... Um, let's we'll start again. Number ten, Screen Junkies, because they they had they had to deal with the same exact situation he did, and they actually apologized for it. They actually did, unlike him. So, his number one with Annie, they fired that guy, and they also so he's no longer on the show. They dealt with it the right way. That's the last thing I'm going to say about that, but Nico B, he is funny. He's still funny to this day, okay? Yes, he does some does some some jokes that are, are suggested, but he's still funny. So, that's my number nine. And number eight is it's Gamer's Joint. He, yep, I have two on here that do Kingdom Hearts. Those guys do. He does. He does a lot of research for his um for his Kingdom Hearts stuff, uh, and I felt so sorry for him because he was in it. He was in Kingdom Hearts three more longer than me. So, number seven is H and K. He also does the same exact stuff too, and he's in in. He has to go from the dying periods too. My number number six. Is game theory or is you guys in, you guys know other you guys probably know it's Matt Pack. I have one of his shirts. Let me go and get it. See, I have one. I have one of the game theory shirts. I think I wore it one of the videos. You guys didn't probably notice, but because of my hair. <laughs> but 
I wish I could do my own merch, but I don't have my own, I don't have the money for it, and you have to buy it. You have to buy a license for it. Darn license. It's buy a license for everything, don't you? <laughs> but so my number five is Mark Plyer. Yep, he's funny and stuff like that, and he helped me get into Five Nights at Freddy's. Yay! Man, I still have not been able to play it. I need to get the headset for me to be able to play it. Once I get the headset, uh, a camera, and a stand, I'll do a few Friday Nights at Freddy's for you guys, okay? That's probably going to wait until at least January because how expensive those things are. Yikes! <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, number four is Black Critic Guy. Yep. That guy is um that is funny and he understands Hunter Disney stuff with I guy I do. Yay! He understands that we they stop breaking remakes. It's nice to see that I'm not the only one that doesn't that that, that thinks that. So yeah. So number three is Jeremy Jones. Yep, he is a good guy. He's a great guy. He's funny and he's still funny to this very day and stuff like that. So. And the two the ones I mentioned, and the, and and this and here earlier I mentioned her and her about her about a minute ago. As I'm doing both the flowers because since both of them have the, their own have both their own YouTube channel, so both number two is Sean Flowers, the lizard, and Tennille Flowers is number eight, number one. Yep, because both one is um does um Sean Flowers does um gaming and Tennille Flowers does warriors and stuff about animation. Yep, all ten of these guys make it still okay for me to be uh, makes you feel I'm not alone and me still liking animation and stuff like that and still liking childish video games and, and make me feel like. It's okay to like the stuff, even though you're 30 years old. <laughs> like you're you're allowed to like whatever you guys want. You're allowed to like it, no matter what people say. And these 10 people help me feel like that. And nostalgia critic does not make you feel that anymore. So, yep. So bye bye guys. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm probably getting a lot of hate mail for this video, but I don't care. Okay, I don't. I'm allowed to hate him. You're allowed to hate. You're allowed to not like him. You're allowed to. Okay. Bye, guys. And guess what?